Oh, he did it to me again. He uh, pretended like he was going to do that thing. Like, hello, energy arts family. <laughs> like that. And then <laughs> he even opened his mouth and he put the thing over right in front of me. And just, he, he got me good. He got me good. And this is with no barely any coffee in her mouth yet. Barely. Barely any. Yeah, I'm pretty, I, I can be pretty high strung. Yes, she could do it. She could do it. We want to thank our newest patron. Yes, we want to say a huge, huge thank you to Into 5D for me. Thank you so much. Yes, absolutely. We couldn't do it without your guys' support over on Patreon. And so this is uh, more of a video of awareness and understanding what's going on because, you know, again, in these times, we could easily make a decision that will put us in perilous uh, positions. Here you have a United Airlines Boeing 737 yet again forced to execute emergency landing after a panel fell off mid-flight Medford, Oregon. It, wow. Yeah. <laughs> you just can't you can't add all these up. It's it's just craziness, but it's it's really all coming together with the vision that the guides have given us over the years. Let us see if we can listen uh, here to Governor DeSantis over in Florida. Is, uh, ...that are going to continue to keep the people of Florida safe. Just recently, within the last couple of weeks, and this will be uh, made public later today, uh, our Florida Fish and Wildlife officers interdicted a vessel that had 25 illegal immigrants, potential illegal immigrants from Haiti uh, in their boat, in their vessel. They had firearms, they had drugs, they had night vision gear, uh, and were, were uh, boating very recklessly, which would, would potentially endanger other folks. So that uh, vessel was, was interdicted uh, near the Sebastian Inlet, uh, and those illegal aliens uh, were turned over to the Coast Guard for, for deportation. So. Uh, our folks have been doing this before we augmented this, and they're going to continue to do it. And we've got an incredible amount of resources that are now on display. Uh, yeah, you get the point. They had firearms, drugs, and night vision. Uh, mm -hmm. That's not a good development there, but it's it, totally expected. No, I mean, it really seems like if they have night vision, I mean, I don't even have my own night vision. I wish I could afford good night vision. And they have, uh, I, I mean, weapons, drugs. They These guys are being f definitely funded. Yeah. You know, nowadays the technology is, is still cheaper. And if you could find illegal weapons, I'm sure you could find that. No problem. We do have Raman Sita for our Raman night vision. And Sassy will bring up the rear. Uh, <laughs> she's, she's first responder, really. She is. You know, she, she's 10 pounds of terror. <laughs> Meanwhile, as you see, these are killers. Uh, Americans warned to brace for second wave of Venezuelan migrants entering the U.S. border illegally as the country's prisons release at least another 100 hardcore inmates. So everything that we've had as far as the rumors really have been kind of shown to be true. You know, talking about Venezuela emptying prisons, sending them up north. Yeah, I mean, it might not be that they literally hand them uh, a card right when they're leaving prison, but it may well be that they do at the same time. It wouldn't surprise me. And there, it's what's undeniable is the amount of attacks that are happening are increasing and here's you know more verification the venezuelan supreme court judge is warning that the violent convicts released from venezuela are increasingly part of the migrant stream pouring into the u.s uh you know the gangs the cartels it's they're they're just in the mindset that's their time to take control Meanwhile, DHS uh, sources were talking here about another horrible act, which there's been a ton of. And for years now, these things have been going on where you know migrants are committing all sorts of crime. This is one right here uh, over in Europe and especially terrorizing uh, the females over in, in Europe. And, and now it's in the U.S. too. And, and we all 
remember um, the Georgian student that had died so young, just on her own campus, you would think you'd be okay and safe, but it's not the case. There, there are predators all over the place. And I was trying to find an article that I came across that was talking about how one was going to be released. And it was like, wait a minute, this just happened. And they're again releasing them after a violent crime. This is just absolute insane. And, and, you know, we have entitled videos that they're trying to make the purge become real life. Well, this is exactly what they're doing. This is just <clears throat> so obvious. They have a controversial CHNV parole program allowing up to 30,000 Cubans, Haitians, Nicaraguans, and Venezuelans to fly into the U.S. Uh, and this is with sponsorship. They typically get a two-year humanitarian parole so they could apply for work and live in the U.S. And yet again, well, you found drugs with the guns, with the night vision. One of the things that is undeniable and, and we know it to be an absolute fact is Drugs do open doors uh, to what we would call demonic possession. Absolutely. And and it's just, it is what it is. And whether they're legal or illegally uh, getting these drugs, it the, the result's the same. So you could have people that get uh, something for depression from their DR, and they're, they are going to be more likely uh, to, to have an episode in which they're not really themselves. And it, it could be absolutely deadly, deadly. So you had two from, one from El Salvador, one from Haiti, both being charged with abuse to the little ones. And, and you, you don't got to look far because you'll keep finding another and another and another it's not that people in other countries are so much more violent than our country. No, it's just that they're sending the worst of the worst up in many cases, mingled in with people that are really trying to just better themselves. But I do think the proportion of people crossing the border with ill intent, either knowingly part of a sleeper cell, military, or working for the cartels and the gangs, or just simple criminals looking for easy prey, that's gone way up in, in in the last year, and that's gone way up in the last probably few months. Mm -hmm. I know. This is really, really horrible and uh, triggering for so many. I got to say that this is very difficult for a lot of people to look at. And one thing that we absolutely cannot do is turn our eyes from giving this any attention. This absolutely has to be looked at. And even as adults, I know many, many people were victimized as children, but you cannot, you cannot turn away from this because to do so is to allow it to continue on with other small children. It's not something we can just sweep under the carpet. That's been done for way too many years. And I think this is also deliberate to trigger people, um, to get them in a really bad spot. And a lot of people just turn away, you know, but I, I think that could be the biggest mistake we could make for our children and let's not forget you know if you're in a place where people are coming together in a social manner don't give anybody any breaks just don't do it you keep your eye on if you see or sense something especially if you're watching this show you keep your eye on it and you, you don't let up you don't let up a, a, a child might be you know um in danger a child could be in danger if you're sensing something just follow that instinct. Don't let it go. I know this is a hard subject for so many people, but even in, especially in places like churches, schools, that's, that's where they go. That's where they linger. That's where they try to make themselves uh, really big and important. And they try to be like really good people. And maybe, maybe some of them are turning over a new leaf and they just want a new life. But we we don't we're not in a place to give the benefit of that doubt right now. Not not with our children. No, yeah, you know, and here you have a case in Florida. There was another case above it in um, Uvalde, Texas, with a little one. But here in Florida, um, three um, guys shoved a woman into a vehicle, Palm Beach uh, area. So. 
you know, this is happening constantly. It's just ongoing. You just have to be aware of your environment. And I would really uh, definitely avoid in these times uh, those areas that are already typically uh, dangerous and overrun. Um, again, make sure that you have some sort of protection or at least basic self-defense. Uh, or if you have, you know, a 120-pound dog you could take with you, that's yes. always a good deterrent too. <laughs> Uh, Muhammad Kasim Khan, 23, right here, wanted in connection with an alleged kidnap assault and, yeah, the, the T word there, abused a victim for five hours, and this is in uh, England, broke her nose, et cetera. I mean, just, this is a, a horrible thing, and this is just constant. It's every single day, there's all these cases ongoing. Uh, so we're in different times and this is what we've, we've warned about. Yeah, this is not, um, high frequency, uh, information, but at the same time, if you don't make it through these times, we'd, we'd love to focus more on other stuff and we try to balance it as best as we can, but you have to understand right now, uh, humanity is in the belly of the beast and is in the thick of things. And, and this is going to be one of the most challenging times that we've ever encountered, certainly within uh, the historical period that spans the lifespans of the humans on the planet now. Because, you know, again, I don't really know if what, I, if what we've been taught in the past, how accurate it is. You know, again, there's the line of thinking out there that somewhere along the lines, they added a thousand years out of nowhere and fabricated a whole bunch of stories. Uh, you know, it, it's such a deep control system. And you could see now how that control system can simply go against the wishes of, of the public and, you know, the people that the politicians are supposedly representing and literally create the conditions for hell on earth in, in a very short time, relatively speaking. And you have over 100 migrants quarantined in a hotel in Chicago after 10 tested positive for measles. Um, that's not the only thing we've been talking about out there. Here in Swindon, eight males, 12 to 18, attacked a 14-year-old. And, you know, our mob, you know, this is one of the dangers of of bringing people of div divergent f backgrounds of a zealous nature. This is why, again, we've had so much conflict between um, Islam and Christianity throughout history. And we, we obviously had the Crusades, and then we've had a Jihad, and this is going to be the biggest Jihad that we've ever seen. And that's the whole purpose of what's going on in Gaza right now is to get these people feeling like it's a personal attack on themselves and their people to the point where they'll be, you know, just basically awash in so much anger and hatred that, again, those dark demonic en entities can take control. And, you know, three quarters of this uh, particular school is of uh, migrant heritage. You know, we are all migrants. This is the thing to realize. This planet that we are living on was restored after a horrible war from a much bigger planet. And the war has never ended. And the war, the war brought migrants to Earth. And, and, and what we see going on in the countries on Earth is what's going on out there in a galactic nature. This is the as above, so below. You know, those of you that have delved into uh, Hermeticism and Gnosticism and Kabbalah, you know, the things in the Western tradition that are taboo because the system doesn't want you understanding really how the universe works because the system doesn't need you just like uh, John D. Rockefeller was uh, you know, credited with saying which I believe he did say I don't need a, <laughs> a nation of smart people I need a nation of workers I don't want smart people this is John D. Rockefeller of course because smart people will realize they're being played no 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 we want Dumb people that take orders well. This is what they want. 
ignorant people that don't understand the bigger picture. This is exactly what they want. You know, you have tens of thousands being dropped off at different places. Uh, this is San Diego again. Um, in my mind, again, the worst places to be are the bigger cities, cl very close to the border or with a large uh, migrant population, or again with military targets, uh, as it's now the 16th of March and things are getting much, much closer. This is Naples. Uh, so we have a family member that has uh, kids visiting Naples at the moment. And this is what Naples looks like. Wait a minute. You know, you could see they're, they're all going to do prayer. Now, I think prayer is wonderful. And I do think um, that the type of dedication where you go and do prayer five times a day is, is, is really you know, showing dedication. We just have to be careful uh, that we're not being used and conditioned and brainwashed into turning something uh, that most people get into for peaceful reasons because they, they want to be a better person. They, they want to uh, help the world be better. But this has been used time and time again to create an army and, and go and fight uh, an, an enemy. And really all it does is just, again, consolidate the power of the power structure. So, you know, this is something to be very, very aware of. And this is why we harp on it so much, because now people forget here in uh, the United States, you know, they'll think that we've, we've you know, a country founded on religious freedom, but the freedom of the Native Americans that were here was just completely squashed. And the European uh, colonizers did to the Native Americans what's going to be done to now the American citizens of today by perhaps, you know, the new colonizers. But this is what the system does. It creates one dogma to raise up, destroy another dogma, become the dominant dogma, and then that'll be destroyed later when they choose to raise another one up. If you look closely, and this is a totally different topic, you'll see that these visitations um, are very, very akin when I say that. I look to Joseph Smith, his visitation. Uh, look to, you know, again, Muhammad. Look to Paul on the road to Damascus. They're very akin to, to an encounter of the third kind. You know, these, these are, in many cases, we would look at them today and think this is probably some sort of alien uh, visitation abduction phenomena and we'd be right <laughs> absolutely as you see this is in British Parliament Islamic call in British Parliament think about this too Islam is the fastest growing re religion on the planet it is f growing faster than Christianity at this point Christianity is still the dominant religion on the planet uh, and but together they they have more adherence than the rest of the world combined they're on a collision course and it, it's again given to us in 1871 which some people you know say oh that's been debunked but yeah well so have all the uh you know things with the plague upon the land and the cure for the plague upon the land oh that's all debunked oh yeah sure oh, uh, chemtrails that's that's been debunked you know geo modification's been debunked yeah uh, yeah dangers of the cell phone been debunked yeah, sure. You know, again, this is so obvious what's going on to you guys, but still there's so many out there that don't understand. You know, Islam li literally means to submit. It means to submit to the will of God, which uh, if you want to talk about submitting to the will of the higher self or source or the creator of this particular universe, that's kind of one thing. But when they're talking about the will of God that was given to somebody that had a close encounter type uh, or it was simply scripted out and written down by the secret societies of the planet and put into a dogma that can be used to create untold unrest and division and, and just nonstop wars, that's, that's not the will of the creator of this universe. No, that's that's the will of Satan. That's that's the will of the adversary because Satan just means adversary. As you know, I just got in uh, an edition of the Talmud to go through. 
I've made it a point to study everything I could. And yeah, you know, there are more intelligent people than me. There are scholars out there, people with degrees and stuff. But I've just done what I could um, while being the, kind of the average person. So much of my life, I worked 50 to 60 hours every single week. Um, not, la- not the last decade, though, as I got out of the system. And that has enabled me uh, to grow so much more spiritually being out of the system because this is part of the system's purpose is to keep us too busy to grow spiritually Mm -hmm. it's it's a huge purpose of the system to uh, keep us from learning anything behind the scenes that's going on to keep us up front you know with our our pencils and our pens just simply signing papers and agreeing to whatever the world puts in front of you so you could do this thing or you could do that thing here sign this sign that you know sign there um and and just keeping you really conformed into a situation that you don't even really know much about because you don't have time to read the fine print. And that goes in the 3D and in the spiritual world as well. You don't have time. You have time to say, oh, wow, well, this thing looks really good. I'm just going to do that without looking behind the scenes and seeing what is it really about and is that really good for you? Is that what you really want? And most of the time people don't realize, no, it's not something that they really want. If they really took the time to read stuff and this world does not give us time they would realize no i don't resonate with this this is not right so many people who definitely study the bible and are very well versed they haven't read it they have not read it or they just simply dismiss parts of it and then if we you know if i sit here and say something well you know the bible isn't quite right people freak out but they haven't even read it they haven't even read it and they're just agreeing to everything that's in it So I I think we need to grow past that. We need to expand ourselves past that and slow down in life wherever you're at and really start to understand what's going on around you. What is this control system putting us up to? There's the mainstream, there's MSN, there's, there's CNN, you know, why wouldn't the Bible be the same as MSN and CNN? It's our mainstream belief system. I think we need to get past that and um, move forward and understand that this control system, they, they want our belief system more than anything. That's, the, that's, that's like our breath. You know, For them to control our breath is to control our belief system. I think once we know that and figure it out, you can be freed. <clears throat> Absolutely. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. And the last video before this, the last uh, clipping there from Twitter, was promotional as we're looking at this little baby practicing stalking mom. It scares the bleep out of mom. You know, here it is. Uh, you know, it's like the people knocking on your door. You know, let me tell you about Jehovah. Yeah, you know, again, it it's it's all the same thing yes it can be more and more violent uh depending on you know obviously jihad is is a violent act obviously what israel's doing right now is very very violent and you know this is just what they do is create dogmatic points of view dogmatic fundamentalist points of view in people's minds where where people re- will refute facts will not even will refuse to look at evidence uh because you know they're just so devoted to a cause and, and that's literally brainwashing and the reality is most of the world is brainwashed and it's it's pretty much all brainwashed and and we have to try to awaken it as best as we can could be very <clears throat> very startling it can be very very disturbing to realize that everything even those things we've taken to be you know the things that'll bring us comfort have been uh, a manufactured created creation of the system in order to not sow peace on earth but create division and literally hell on earth so the thankful part of that is that time is 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 starting to uh, come to an end for a portion of humanity that will awaken and refuse to go down that way. And this is where you know each has to make a big decision for themselves. What am I going to do? Am I going to get out of the way? Uh, you certainly don't want to become part of the problem. 
I think, again, it's better to try to get out of the way of the steamrolling train. You certainly don't want to try to uh, stop it by yourself. But moving yourself away from the main areas of contention and understanding that the system is not out for your uh, well-being, not at all. And it uses, uh, obviously, uh, all the emotions to sell us on this system. And so recognize that, step away from it, because this is really a time of great opportunity. Those that can make it through uh, the upcoming really, really challenging months um, and months, maybe maybe years, but I, I still think that for those that are on the ascension path, once we get past maybe uh, 2025 and we start rolling forward, there's always going to be challenges. They're not going to go easy. And I don't think that they will give up control of a portion of the planet for, for quite a while, uh, quite a while in most of our lives. So, but I think they are not going to be able to maintain control over the entirety of the planet. So, you know, that is a big, big difference because right now they do control the whole planet. They really do control all the politicians, the whole political structure. As always, guys, thanks for your support. We couldn't do it without you guys. Look forward to your comments. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.